up Big Macs and fries. It's Keisha, aka Color Me Pink, and I'm here with a new behind the scenes TV video. I swear, these reality shows and television shows have been keeping me busy. I think I bring you guys more behind the scenes tea than I do spilling the tea. If you don't know the difference, behind the scenes tea is focused on all of the behind the scenes info on your favorite reality and television shows, and spill the tea is focused strictly on celebrity gossip and news, honey. Well, The Real Housewives of Potomac are currently filming for season eight. And uh, this past week, the ladies filmed their first cast trip and it was to Texas. And the ladies were spotted at a drag show, honey, showing up and showing out, participating in the drag show and everything. And as I suspected when I brought you all the news about the new housewife, Nanika Ahim, and I said to you guys, based on her background, either she and Wendy are going to be great friends or they're going to be great foes. And I was correct. They are foes. <laughs> they are uh, not friends. They actually, uh, it has been said that they got into it at Karen's Pickleball um, Couples event um, about two weeks ago. And in this video, you'll see while they're participating in the drag show that Nanika is seen giving Wendy the thumbs down and rolling her eyes. And I knew it was going to go this way. I knew that it was going to go this way. And I said it because Nanika is, a. Uh, accomplished attorney, several degrees, married. I believe she has children. She's Nigerian. She literally has Wendy's entire background. So if I'm Wendy and I'm on this show and they bring in a woman who literally has my whole entire background, I'm going to be feeling like, okay, are y'all trying to replace me with somebody else? What's going on? So either... I can take the stance of teaming up with homegirl and becoming besties or I'm about to fight for my spot and we not going to get along. And with the newbie, she could come in feeling the same way. I can either be good girlfriends with this girl. We're both Nigerian. We're both very accomplished and astute or we won't get along and they're not getting along and it's so sad to see but it's gonna be great for us the viewers. Before I play the clip, I want you guys to focus in on Nanika. She's on the stage in a red dress. Pay attention to her as Wendy is doing her little one two, and you will see her giving Wendy the thumbs down. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell Wendy she ate the ish with her new body. Y'all remember when I used to say Wendy was shaped like a smart water bottle? <laughs> Wendy said, Well, I'm gonna show you, Biosh. Now I'm shaped like a Fiji bottle. <laughs> It was the dip, honey, because that was a struggle to get down. You see, she had to touch the floor to keep her balanced, child. Oh, God, I am weak. Did y'all peep Mia on the stage with that leotard on and the white boots and the hat and everything? Child, they look like they are having a great time. Let's look at some more clips of the ladies enjoying themselves. <laughs>
see Karen is getting a birthday do-over from last season <laughs> from that Miami uh, birthday trip. It seems like she's having a ball this time. And I'm so happy to see Karen and Wendy's relationship growing over the last few seasons. Um, seems like they'll be clicked up going into season eight. Um, I can't wait to see what the beef between Wendy and Nanika will be. Um, I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to see how she's going to get along with the other girls. Oh, I hope she is not a part of the Green Eye Bandits and their foolishness. And why was Robin at a drag show in a blazer and slacks? <laughs> Where is she going? She's so dang on country. Like, why are you looking like you going to a job expo? Like, oh. God, get her off of the show. Just please get her off. And I didn't see Candy Eyes. I don't know where she was at unless I just missed her in the fray. But um, I can't wait to see what's going to happen this season because, you know, last season was so manufactured because of Giselle. You know, she ruins everything. So hopefully the ladies were taking everybody's feedback um, from last season and it being overly produced and the storylines going way too dark and they get it back to the original Potomac. I pray that that's what we get going into this season. Um, but most of all, I just need to see Roberto and Juan get ate up. Get ate up by Candias, Karen, and Wendy. I need for that to happen immediately. Immediately. I need for there to be some tearing up. Some feet held to the flame, some accountability to be taken. Yes, I need for them to go in and let have honey. And I need for them to put their foot on both of their necks and not let up until they yell cut on the season finale episode. Okay. I need for them to drive forward, not back. <laughs> uh, according to Candy Oss's song. Okay. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That's the one thing that I'm looking forward to this upcoming season of Potomac, and I need for them to deliver and deliver big. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this information down below in the comment section. You guys, make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.